You sure you're up for this? Oh yeah, I'm feeling good. I was using the cane just There goes my Harry. Watch him as he goes. Ooh, Harry Osborne. There goes my Harry. Watch him as he goes. Kevin, how do you, uh, damn. Kevin, how do you feel about Eve from, from Stellar Blade here? She's a bad mama jama. Kotaku fucked up. PC gamer fucked up. Euro gamer fucked up. Y'all fucked up. Diversity! As I summarize, allow me to present to you the kryptonite, otherwise known as the truth. Many a gaming publication have come out of the woodwork to defend Sweet Baby Inc. But do you know what they deliberately omit from their coverage? Context. Games Media has deliberately failed to include that the serial harasser Chris Kindred of Sweet Baby Inc. was suspended following their attempt to get someone mass reported over something that was completely and utterly fine, the making of a list. And a week after suspension, as Chris Kindred returns to Twitter, they find it necessary to talk shit about Toriyama's work not even a day after his death, but they're definitely not fishing for attention, right? They've got pride enough for a parade, but they seem to be deleting their tweets. It's always about race to entities like this. They do not possess the capacity to understand irony, and the irony is that mentioning Akira Toriyama who has had a profound impact on the gaming space via Chrono Trigger, Dragon's Quest, many ways that defy mentioning, have had the impression on lives of people who have not even touched these games. Dragon Ball Z never needed to match our gender, race, or shape to impact us. More than anything that any of you asswipes have crafted ever will, and that's why you need other people's properties to compromise with race swaps and forced diversity. These people betray and habitually demonstrate not only their insecurity, but their loneliness. These activists lashing out like a cornered animal, when in fact all of us are creating paths for them to get the hell away from us. I wrote in a response, the hilarity as they mock someone's death is were they to pass, they would only be remembered for their organization's death and deleted tweets. But it's pride though, right? You are using me to farm content and engagement. You are stoking the flames while at the same time avoiding any direct conversation with me. Exactly what you did. This is exactly what you did with him. Criticized pronoun use look like a bunch of shit eating cavemen. I'd love to see pronouns in every game moving forward for no other reason than spite and to watch this guy's world melt. Female, bro. What are you doing? I've had transgenders issue death threats to family members who could not take no for an answer. Third partying. You're dropping shit without people's consent. You are acting like a divorced woman. And I a thousand percent understand the act ma'am branding now. Go fuck yourself, act man. You can't cover the fucking news. You're a shield with a hand up your ass. Go fuck yourself. Go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Here Jeff Grubb mocks that I'm terrified of everything because I guess it's just easier to keep gaslighting than to acknowledge and actually cover any of what is relevant to the thing that people know you for. Considering how this last, and you could say, ongoing debacle started, I believe it is in important to start highlighting how some people decide what is and isn't useful information. A Kotaku journalist named Alyssa Mercante infiltrated, her words, a discord that existed because of the harassment campaign launched by Chris Kindred of Sweet Baby Inc. After the harassment campaign, these people created a space and journalist Alyssa 
infiltrated it, her words, and is immediately documented asking for people's personal information with the obvious intention of circulating it before posting an article on Kotaku where they mention farms of a kiwi variety in a hilarious attempt to connect and paint them in a negative light and deliberately does not include that the harasser who was at the time suspended provoked this reaction and subsequent Streisand effect. Many of the same individuals are in tied to and are funding Sweet Baby and other similar soy drenched sensitivity pussies ruining games. The very same star players that I recall cheering after goading people into taking their own life. I recognize the Steam Curator as passing 200,000 people, but even they were forced by the hate mob in gaming media to take down all of their posts to avoid reports from the harassment squad pretending to be victims. So Kotaku, PC Gamer, same Eurogamer with the Angry Over Anatomy Alex over at Digital Foundry, desperate to dismiss Paul Tassie of Forbes, and of course, how could I forget, the gamer. Can you guess who came, who specifically wrote, coming to Sweet Baby's defense? Stacy Henley, of course, the same entity who during Hogwarts Legacy was reducing people to mere white cisgender people. Does it matter a little bit more now? Their cult divides is weak, selfish, and foolish. That it took this long for you to silently unite is embarrassing. But watching these Mudahar and Actman freaks pretend like they don't know what's going on when they're terminally online, I need you to unite with the fuck it, you know, can it be a Dragon Ball Z thing where we set our differences aside? You don't see that there's an inconsistency versus what is going on in reality and what they are reporting. Step out of the Genjutsu for me, Mudahar, act man. But it wouldn't be too far removed to assume that maybe you're part of the smoke screen because we saw what side you took then. This asshole is the guy that developers run into when they do uh, testing groups. He's the guy that's sitting there with a the controller in hand saying, well, This is fucking, this is too tough. This is too tough. Why, why do I need to drive the vehicle? Can the, dri the vehicle drive me? This is, too, this is difficult. This is a motherfucker that has made video games regress to the point where they're not even really games anymore. They play themselves. And just to terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. I want you to watch what the player does here as he boats around. Okay, so in this example, the player is exploring the hub, they've been correctly taught the shock arrow mechanic. And thanks to the design work done by Kai Zeng, they've also been told that shock arrows mean interesting themes and that there's a lot of different variety and a lot of different gameplay, right? Peak gaming in a fucking superhero game. Spider-Man, I'm old, you ever been in love? And here go DSP. I gotta go blow my nose. Hold on. A rare moment of amazing writing. A rare moment of amazing writing. Put all these fucking trees in my way so it'd be difficult for me to track, didn't you? Like I give a shit. You know who I am? I'm a fucking juggernaut. Imagine me having to walk this! Fuck this thing. You know I'm Spider Man? What the fuck? My nigga for real. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I need mean, to worry. I'm sorry. It'd be funny if she straddled him right now, just jumped on his lap. I missed you, Grandpa. Oh, yeah, now nah, that's what I'm talking about. I know, I'm crying like a baby. Brain rot. There are people watching my videos who do not speak my language, but they're listening. Jamaican Kyle, American Kyle, Black Kyle, Hetero Kyle. These things brought up out of nowhere without, you know, without, for no reason. It's fucking, that's cringe. It's, it's what, who does that? Everybody listening knows who does that. The intention of many of us living our lives is not to trigger, but of course it will be triggering when you're triggered by everything. Oh, I'm going to faint. I can't believe there's dinosaurs in this Jurassic Park movie. That's unironically them. I'd like to take the opportunity 
to speak across languages, borders, and seas, to express as a black man that I hate the vandalism of art by the people who are standing in the way of the light restricting the space and trying their best to stifle the air so we can barely breathe and barely grow. They're worse than weeds, but identical to pests who do not contribute and are in fact invasive. I often mention that if Catwoman came out today, it could never just be a bad movie. It would have to be that everybody's racist and everybody's sexist. That's why the movie's bad, right? I've endeavored to make all of what's happening palatable to people just like myself who wanted nothing more than genuine equality, not sensitive slop. We're trying to expose these people who are so triggered that even a pretty busty woman can never slip through the cracks. We're well past gaslighting to hopefully package this in terms that an Actman subscriber can understand. Call of Duty lobbies have a reputation of being toxic, but to people like me, they put a smile on my face. I don't have to play a clip for the idea of it, like a woman whipping them things out, is just... It's like a choir singing a song that you want to join in on, even if you don't know the words, maybe even especially if you don't. SBMM, forced lobby disbanding, policed chats, sensitivity, the camaraderie is gone. 1v1 could never exist in today's climate because GG's probably getting the panty-wearing Overwatch players so mad that they're going to make sure people are getting banned. Look at this thumbnail by Fratanga. It's hilarious. I personally can't stand senile Dave Jaffe dangling his ass desperate for attention as fucking usual. But, you know, he was one of the first to jump up and have a pretty identical sentiment to all of these other uh, nut jobs that think they're going to be able to get away with defending weirdos like Sweet Baby. But as Jeff Grubb was mocking me, sometimes their tactic needs to be to terrify. Everybody on the fucking ground! Ooh, that's right! That's right! That's right! How are you enjoying your coffee? What? Oh, you can't drink it down there? Yes! Not so easy to drink coffee on the ground, is it? That's what it was like for the marginalized. <laughs> you know why so many people won't be real? For the same reason that nobody tells jokes and people can't be on the YouTube platform anymore. It's because they're terrified. They bend the knee to the only culture that woke knows, fear. They have no culture of their own and they poison everything they touch. They will force, ruin, take and break whatever matters to you. They know not what matters. They perceive that by watching you. The word courage and bravery are not participation trophies to be issued to anyone in attendance. They have meaning. It's the same meaning that they try to redefine and rewrite and change every day. Some of us have genuine courage and bravery. Not assholes like me, sitting at home cozy, but men and women who are willing to fight for what they believe in. I call on you to have the integrity to tell the truth. Not all the time, just when it matters. Beta tester, I stress again, you can play a more convincing part than I ever could. You can blend. Not that I'm asking you to. <laughs> but we need to, at the very least, loosely start doing our best in documenting these people because of what they will erase and alter down the line. Take it from somebody who's learned to keep their phone charged and keep the cameras rolling, so to speak. If you needed advice on dealing with a crazy bitch, you'd probably listen to Johnny Depp, right? So, there's a room in my Discord now called Gamergate 2. Please join. Drop things in there you want me to see, you think are relevant, pertinent to what's going on, and I love you to death. It's clear from how hard 
you know, especially the loser who came back after suspension and is having things to say about Toriyama is trying to get people to do something or say something, be mean, so they can then hold that up and go, look how mean gamers are, just like the last time. Oh, can you believe, oh, believe all women. Oh, we got to make them flat chested. Oh, I'm so offended. I'm so triggered. Oh, it's about, it's about the little kids, it's about the girls. It's about the young people. Yeah, the young people you want to, like, you want to go full Hannibal Lecter on, you know what I mean? You don't need the fava beans or Chianti, though, right? The fava beans. Tear out a man's tongue. You're not proving him a liar. You're telling the world that you fear what he might say. I'm terrified, grub. You're my billboard, bitch. <laughs>